everyone, welcome back to my channel and to the next in my September sorted videos. I finally come up with a name about four days in, so that's what I'm going with. It kind of fits the theme of just anything that helps me to get myself motivated and productive this month. So September sorted it is, and this is the next video in my little series. If you haven't seen the last couple, basically I'm uploading a video every weekday of September, so Monday to Friday at roughly 7 p.m. There'll be a new video on my channel all about cooking, grocery hauls, planning, organization, and just general videos about my life. So do hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so that you don't miss them. So for tonight's video, I'm actually doing a cook with me. I mentioned this recipe in a video not so long ago and a couple of you replied to say you would like me to share it. So I thought I would film it as a cook with me style video. You guys seem to quite enjoy those and just share with you one of our I would say it's kind of an autumn winter favorite of our families. I've been making it for years. It's a Tana Ramsey recipe, who is Gordon Ramsay's wife, if you didn't know. And she brought out some really, really good cookbooks a couple of years ago that I've got some great recipes from. And I don't think she's released any new ones recently unless I've missed them. And I loved her books and this particular recipe is one that Dan loves and the kids will eat and it's got loads of veg in it. So it's a real, good one to try. It does have cabbage in, which you might think kids wouldn't be all that fussed on, but actually, weirdly, my kids will eat it and they are quite fussy, or at least they have been in the past with veg, especially if it's green. So I'm not really sure why they'll accept cabbage in this particular form, but they seem to. Actually, what it probably is, is that you cook it for quite a while, so it does wilt down and become quite soft and you can't really detect it massively but it's worth a bash anyway and even if your kids pick out the cabbage there's still plenty of goodness in there and flavors that i'm sure they'll enjoy i should really tell you what it is shouldn't i i don't think i've said basically it's a sausage casserole so we've got butter beans in there pancetta chorizo leek cabbage and the recipe actually calls for mushrooms but i've never made it with mushrooms because i'm not a massive fan of them although dan likes them so i should put them in there for his sake but it's fine with or without, it's entirely up to you. And as I said, it's a really nice one for this season where it's getting that little bit colder and you want some more hearty food. So without further ado, I'm gonna stop waffling and show you how I make it. So you'll need olive oil, an onion, I've chosen to use a red onion, but any onion would do, some garlic, any sausages would do, but I tend to use these caramelized onion ones just because they add some extra flavor. Then you'll also need some pancetta, would be my preference, but they didn't have any, so I picked up these smoked bacon lardons instead, but either would be fine. Then you'll need some chorizo. I would have picked up the chopped version if they had it, because I'm just being a bit lazy, but this is fine. Then you'll need some stock. The recipe actually calls for veg stock, but I only had this chicken one, so I'm sure it will taste just fine with that. A tin of butter beans, a leek, and a savoy cabbage. This one's actually quite small. I would usually use a larger one than this, but I'm sure it will be enough. So the first thing I do is put my sausages in the oven. The recipe actually tells you to fry them in the pan, but I prefer to pop them in the oven and let them cook through whilst I'm doing everything else. So I just pop them in for about 25 minutes at 180, and whilst they're in the oven, I can get on with all my chopping. So I'm gonna start with my onion and garlic. Once they're chopped, I just pop them in a deep pan with some olive oil to fry until soft. So while that's happening, I chop up my chorizo into half moons. Do any of you peel your chorizo sausage before you chop it? A friend of mine once told me to do that because it makes it less tough and easy to chew and I've always done it since but I'm fairly sure most people don't but let me know I'd love to know if I'm the only one so once the chorizo is chopped I pop it in the pan with the onion and the garlic once everything has gone that lovely orange color I add the bacon and finally I chop up the leek and add that into the pan as well once I've given that a stir I add in the butter beans and the stock. The recipe actually asks for one and a half liters, but I've always found that to be way too much. So I add about half a liter and then top it up with boiling water. At this point, I turn the heat down and let it simmer away for about 20 minutes or so, basically until the sausages are ready. Once the sausages are done, I take them out of the oven and cut them up into small pieces and add them into the pan with everything else. 
and leave that to simmer away for a little bit longer and get on with cutting up the cabbage. So you're just gonna want to take out the core and shred it into thin ribbons. Then I run it under some hot water and then add it into the casserole. Then I like to leave that simmering away for a good 10 to 15 minutes, if not longer. This is one of those recipes that tastes better the longer you leave it to cook for. And that's it, simple as that, and it really is a tasty meal. And I like to serve ours, as I said, with basmati rice, but actually thinking about it, some crusty bread would be really, really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you will be trying this recipe. And if you do decide to make it, come back and let me know if you enjoyed it and if your kids ate the cabbage. That's what I really wanna know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my September sorted videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.